hi good people welcome back to my channel today i want to show you how to draw a cross section this is uh, for the geographer students and uh, with this uh, focus i know it is going to help you when you are revising since uh, your examination is around the corner and i think i have i have this i have timed you for this one so with me it's a kitale map i'm going to uh, I'm going to refer to a question uh, that was done in 2012, paper 1, number 6, and uh, the question was in part C. So you are told to you using a scale of 1 centimeter to represent 40 meters, draw a cross section from grid reference 41, 0, 180 to grid reference. 500 180 now for you to to get the grid reference of course you know that we normally start with the eastings and of course these are the eastings as you can see the eastings the eastings are the lines that are vertical but the number rings are uh, towards the east so you start uh, by locating the the region that is 41 141 0 this is the contour line that we want mm -hmm. so 41 0 and the other one that we want is uh, uh we want the contour 180 contour 180 so so 180 it's going to be here so having our so we need to mark Mark the point uh, using your pencil. Again, the other one that you have been told it's 500 and 180. So this is the contour 50. So 5000 zero, zero, and 180. So it's this along this part. So after doing this, you need a piece of paper that is a full scarf. You need to fold it. Fold it and uh, using the edge of the paper, go to your map where you have marked the point, where you have identified the place to get your contours. So you mark. You can mark uh, the areas and you say that it is point A, B. So the next thing you do along the edge, mark all the contours and name them. So we need to note the contours that are along the edge of AB. All of them. So this is what we have mm -hmm. for the next step you need to note all the contours contours that you know that you have you you can see that is for example the first one we have 1860 you mark it there then you go on we have the next one as 1880 uh -huh. you mark all that you know all that which you can see first the ones that you can identify mark them this one you can identify as 1900 mm, we have the next one and here we have 1940 and then we also have these ones are just the same if you can see well we have this contour going like this like this so and uh, all of them are 1960 you mark it like that then we have this one all these ones 
giving us uh, 21, 20. Then we have the others, the others that we don't know. So how do we get to know the measures of the others? So gently move your, your paper, then you check for those that you can see, make sure they are matching. So like this one is 19.20, we have 19.20, and have here 19.20. Make sure it is straight. Again, we have also this contour 1940. It's repeated. Therefore, we have these two having 1920, 1940. Sorry. Mm -hmm. So, again, we can look for the others. Uh -huh. You find that uh, this contour, you can get it by looking for it. Mm -hmm. Like that. And you find that it is 1900. So we have found that uh, this is 1900. This is also 1900. Hmm. let's confirm again so we have this line it's good for you if you can be having a pencil you can use it faintly to follow the contour for you to be accurate and to note whether you are correct So we have this one, and we have this one, and this one. So we come again, you place it. So we have this line as 1900. We have uh, this one as 1900. And this one 1900, and this one 1900. Hmm. So after having that, uh -huh. There is a contour over here that we don't have, so we need to check the same contour. It's 1920. So you mark it 1920. Go to the next one. Make sure that uh, still your paper aligns. To the given region that is our region is a b that we need to represent it as a cross section so we have the others hmm. we need to look for this contour line that is uh, that is in bold color that is uh, it's going to be 2000 so it is 2000 I want you to note uh, of these contours that are following. You can see they are very close to one another. So one thing that uh, you learn is that uh, the difference between a contour to the other one is 20. So there is a difference of 20. So you need to note down that uh, any other one, any other, the following of any contour from 2000, it's going to be plus 20 plus 20 until you reach to 120 so you can also confirm it by going through the contour so we have these ones plus all these ones we are going to say plus 20 mm -hmm. then we we can also have this uh, contour over here that is uh, visible, that is uh, 120. Mm. We can also check for these others. So along it, we can see that uh, we have this contour that is 2000. 
and uh, we also have these contours that are repeated that is we can say from our age you can just look at it from our age and find that this line is just the same as this one is the same as this one this one this one this one so we can note of something like that therefore we can make a conclusion on something if this one's this means that all this region is the one that is above 2000 meaning that uh, these ones they are going to be below 2000 so we can have to deduct 2020 20 going backwards that is from here where we have 21 20 we can have now uh, 2100 this means that with this line with this line you have it up to this point you have 2100 so the next one is automatically 2080 we have the next one as uh, 2060 we have the next one as a uh, 20 2040 then the other one is 2040 then of course the others will follow 2080 just the way that uh, we have mentioned until you find yourself at 2100 so after doing that with your paper you can get a graph book then uh, you can get the region you write it that is you plot it now and since uh, we, are, we the, the paper is not going to be accurate for us when we're drawing uh, the line or rather the region we are going to use a ruler so and this is the region So that is the horizontal part of it. Remember, the question says that uh, we use the scale of one centimeter to represent 40 meters. Therefore, this is the vertical scale, of course. This is the vertical scale, the vertical scale that we have been given. What do you mean by that? That means that uh, this is the vertical scale. This is the vertical part of it that we are going to use. And of course, this one is the horizontal. Yeah. Then after doing that, this is what you do. We need to get the scale, the proper one that we are going to use to draw. So first of all, you need to be having your measurements. That is, you get to find the highest point. Get the highest point. Then we have the lowest also. This is because it is going to give you a, a good scale that you are going to use uh, for drawing your area or rather your cross section. So the highest point that we have, it's around 21, 20, and also 21, 60. So we have 21, 60. All the way we have also 21. We have 21. We have, no, we have 18 as the lowest, 18, 60. So you need to subtract the two, you find that uh, it's around 300. So with this 300, you need to divide it. You need to divide it with 40. Remember, this is because our scale statement says that one centimeter should be represented by 40 meters. After dividing, you'll find that it's around 7.5. Therefore, we are going to use 7.5 units. That is our squares or rather our centimeters that uh, are going to represent the height. Now, 
after knowing that we are going to now to have uh, the the contours that is the measurement to the highest you find that we cannot use 1860 to just 2160 like that therefore we are going to start from somewhere like uh, 1700 so let's say we start from 1700 sorry so we have 1700 so from 1700 we have 1740 from 1740 we have 1780 from 1780 we have 1820 from 1820 we have 1860 from 1860 we have 1900 from 1900 we have 1940 from 1940 we have 1980 from 1980 we have 20 20 20 from 2020 we have 2040 no 2060 sorry so we have 2060 from 2060 we have um, 2100 then we have 2140 2180 all the way to 2220 so we can stop at there so we take our our region now this is what you are going to do after every height that we have you are going to plot a dot to it so that it can represent the height of that area and we are going to start with 1860 so you have to move your your paper like that then you mark from the contour that you have this was 1880 so the next one says 1880 and of course your 1880 is going to be around that place so you you make a dot there the other one is 1900 so 1900 you can mark all the points that you have 1900 on it yeah then the next one you do it's a uh, you have the contour 1920 1920 is uh, somewhere there make sure that you you match your paper with the edge matching both sides so we have 1920 somewhere there we have another 1920 somewhere there then you can be ticking for the ones that you have done So, so for 1940, go for 1940. 1940, we have two regions. This another one, we have it over here. Um, the next one is uh, can mark the areas that you are, you have uh, plotted. Okay, the next one is an. Uh, 1960 need to get 1960s around here 1960 so you can have 1960 this region this region and also this region that is 1960 and then we can have now the 2000 now the 2000 2000 is around there so the others are you add so we are going for 2020 get 2020 we have 
2040. Remember, it's because the difference between one contour to another is 20. So the other one is at 2060. And the other one is 2080. Then finally we have 2100. We have 2100. Remember we have another 2100 over here. Mm -hmm. There, then we have 2120. Then you can start plotting again for we have the next one 2060. We have another one which is 2080 that I have left here. 2040. 2040 is somewhere there. Uh, we have two of them. 2040 and another one here. Then, of course, we are going to add them. That is the next 2080 again. 2060. It's here. This contour over here. Then we have uh, 2080. Then we have 2100. This is the country over here. Then 2120. Somewhere there. So after completing their plotting, so with a smooth pencil, smoothly, you need to curve or rather to join all the dots well. Let me check whether there is a point that you left over here. There should have been a hundred still. We can go back and check. The region. This is the region again. You need to check for these two contours that you have not named. These are uh, and these are uh, they are missing, so you need to find them. So they are 1900. You can see 1900. 1900. Nine hundred, sorry. One, nine. The other one, of course, when you are looking at this one, what is the difference between this one and this one? You find that it is nineteen twenty. So, come back and check again. Need the nineteen hundred there. Also need nineteen twenty. There. I think now we have all the points. 1940. This one I should have ticked it. Mm -hmm. Now, after having all the points, now this is what I'm saying that you join all the dots smoothly. A little curve.
So there we have the cross section. Again, remember to note the question. Note again the question. What are you supposed to capture in your in your cross section? In this case, you are supposed to capture the a dry weather road, river captarit, and a ridge. And uh, by the look of things, you can get the ridge. This is the ridge. This is the ridge. So we write the ridge. That is the ridge. And uh, we want to river capture it. Use your, your edge of paper again. River capture it is here. You can mark it with a U, a U sign, so that you will be able to see it. The other one is a road, a dry weather road, a dry weather road. You can use your scale, not your scale, sorry, but your key, not which is the, which is the symbol for dry weather road. Do you find that it is uh, this sign over here? So we can come and check from, from the region whether we can see one. And yes, we can see one. It is here. You can mark a V. So this is the, the road. And this one is the river that you're talking about. So you come again. So it's at 19. We have at 1940, 1920. So automatically it's this region. So it's around here where we have the, the road. So you mark. So it's a dry. Dry. Weather road. And uh, we need now to have the river. So the river is somewhere here. So this is river. After it. So and there we have our cross section. Okay, you can shade the area for clear visual. That is uh, when the examiner wants to see well your diagram. That is what you can do. You can shade it like this. Don't be too a big grass. That is, don't color your diagram too much since uh, this one will not attract your examiners. Just be simple when it comes to shading your diagrams. Be simple. So the other thing that uh, you are supposed to note is uh, you give your diagram a title you give it a title and the title is a cross section of a cross section of the region from grid reference 410180 to grid reference 50180 that is going to be your title for the cross section uh, with I think that we have we are done. So the final look of it it is the this cross section at the end of the day. So with the good thing about this book that is KMF uh, geography, 
you can check for your answers whether you are correct and uh, for the look of the things i think that we have done a good job and uh as you can see this is the diagram that we have drawn and this is the other one that is the for the cross section remember again i said remember to have uh, your title for my case i've not written it but i have told you what to do remember to have that title and also the vertical scale because of course you are going to be told the next question is automatically about uh, how you can calculate your uh, vertical exaggeration so for for us today this is it and uh, till next time so i'm wishing you all the best in your exams and um, remember to subscribe to my channel and also tell other people and your friends about uh, my channel and I'll, you wait for more content of this and especially educational and also others so keep tuned thank you